man. Oh man, what's happening? Oh man, oh no. Man, that was spooky. Well translated mods. Very well translated. So we're gonna get spooked today. We're gonna get spooked more. More than we've already been spooked. I mean, we've been spooked the fuck out. But, uh... Yeah, I, I have very little commentary to say about this place because of how incredibly bland it is. I guess that's German maybe. Yeah, so far, yeah, this is about it. The shovel. I don't, I don't really care. I actually do. I care about the hey, shovel. Okay, they're not, they freak the fuck out because, uh, Havoc did that. And here's a hole that I am forced to walk into. I genuinely could not stop myself from walking into that hole. Again, that noise. I did hear that noise game. Thank you for telling me again. This is pretty uncomfortable down here. The strange light seems to come from even further down. As it stands, I have no choice but to jump into the hole. It is the only way- what? No, I- I- okay, that's- so that's what we're saying, huh? This is, um... Gotta say, pretty spooky. I feel like we could have had more of these things in one cell. See, and more red lights. Real spooky. Let's see if I turn off my lantern. It's like... It's well lit enough. It's probably spookier now. I'd say it's uh, sufficiently spooky. Oh man. That is spooky. Okay. And I can't move. Oh man. That's, uh, that is spooky. Hi there. You, um... You gonna come over here? Get, is, is this... Is this place not nav-meshed for enemies? If I walk over... Okay, there, there we go. That's weird. I don't think that area... Let me see. Is this area nav-meshed? Yeah, it's not. They can't come over here. This, this spot is just not nav-meshed at all. The, uh, the NPCs can't walk there. That's, um, quality mod from our friends at whoever the fuck is this, uh... Sober. Damn. Dennis can put some down. If I drink all of it. Okay, there we go. Now we're drunk. I'll save real quick because we'll probably die from stumbling over while drunk in a uh, in a spooky hole. Oh, we're stumbling. Okay. Oh man, I wonder if that book's important. Yeah, I've... Report of the events in the mine. Well, I wonder if anything is going to happen when I read this book. Oh, the light disappeared. From half... A health? Is that health? I guess health. Data. Silverfall Mine. Day 24. Today, everything is calm. Encountered an east shaft on a huge load. Promises a good yield. More workers have ordered. Silverfall Mine. Day 31. Expanding further into east shaft. Minor problems with fri friable rock. Otherwise, everything is quiet. For now. Silverfall Mine. Day 32. Came across a water course. Oh boy! Two men were torn into the deep by a jet of water. The authorities have ordered the closure of the mine. And that's not a full ellipsis. It's like a almost an ellipsis. Like, he wasn't really sure. Silverfall Mine, Day 33. Something is wrong. The men are taciturnly. Is that a word? I know taciturn is a word. Taci 
Some even have not finished their meal. That's never happened before. Silverfall Mine, Day 40. It is among us, somewhere in the depths of the mine. It talks to us. I do not know where it came from or what it actually is, but it controls us. I gotta get out, or I'll go crazy. Or am I already? This guy spent a fucking lot of time on these ellipses. Like, he was just, as he's going crazy, he's like, I've gotta put these ellipses at the end of everything. Let me guess, spooky thing happens? That opens over there? Oh, this, was this open before, or did it just kind of look like it wasn't? I don't know. Anyway, we should probably take that. I, I'm just gonna guess we're probably supposed to. Uh, what are we Soul gem fragment. Charcoal. I think something in Frostfall or something needs charcoal. So I'm gonna get charcoal. Alright. Uh, and there's blood, spooky, with more red glowing mushrooms. Always a good sign. Let's see, a skeleton. Skeletons are always good. They're a good sign. A door that does not at all fit he what I <laughs> Oh man, that was spectacular. Oh, oh this skeleton oh wait. Yeah. We got that guy. We fucked him up. That's what we did. Gotta wait a second for my stamina so we can move a little faster. There we go. Spider webs, red lights, mushrooms. Those are... Oh, and blood splotches everywhere. And ellipses. And ellipses. Those are the ingredients to a spooky, spooky dungeon. Oh man, more spooky noises. Sounds like I, it's like you're trying to teach a kid to play the violin. Like they've never played the violin before, and that that was that. That's what that was. Somebody's teaching a kid to play a violin. Oh man, a long dark hallway. I wonder if something's gonna jump out at me here. Oh man. I actually did guess that. I I have not played up to this point. I'm very proud of myself there. Or more disappointed in this modder. And oh look, more blood everywhere and the gore skeleton uh, props. Uh, more red glowing mushrooms. Oh man, a skeleton behind a door that is not present anywhere else in this game. Ever. You never see skeletons and they're definitely scary to play. Good. Okay. Um... So yeah, more rocks, cages. I'm gonna turn the lantern back on because this really isn't any uh, more spooky. Is that spooky at all? And uh, double hatchets. Into the depths. Yes. Oh boy, another dark hallway with noises playing. Wonder if something. Oh, oh, we are in the cutscene again. It's gonna pop up. Oh well. Oh god, we're in Cube. That is a good movie. The sequel sucked. Seriously, this is. I, I swear to God, this is gonna be Cube. Oh, okay, it's a, one of these puzzles. disappointing is there is seriously they're just like let's flash red lights everywhere because that looks good oh man a blood splotch cool more blood splotches i'm being sufficiently spooked now good that uh that sound effect isn't getting old hasn't gotten old yet oh hey a mannequin mannequin again. Yeah, oh. Alright. You gonna pop up here? You gonna come out of the wall? Any 
you come out of the wall? Is he behind me? No. Wow, that, um... He, he's really, really reliant on those sound effects, isn't he? behind me maybe so it's gonna be like oh man you look behind you and there's a skeleton I bet a skeleton's gonna pop up oh, oh we're still trying and uh, loading screen and we're in what is going on here foremost this room and now is this real or am I going crazy well let's find out oh, oh look skeletons always scary um, X stuck in first person. Yes, it is. Kind of. Oh man, that is some immersive invisible walls right there. Okay. Let me guess. There is a skeleton in the well. Oh, it's spider webs. Can we fall in the well? No. Well, it's the one from Spider-Man. You can't fall in. Bless. Now it's just painfully bright, but uh, whatever lighting. I have lighting mods, so it's not probably not this mod's fault. Alright, well, that bear vomited everywhere. Bear, you should be more considerate. They're letting you live in this house, bear. And you're just vomiting rectangular sprays of blood. It, it loosened the shelf. You, you're you gonna have to pay for that. You, you don't even look good. You look sick. Whatever. I'll come back. Wait a minute. Wasn't this house much smaller? And why doesn't fit the interior to what I've seen outside at all? Oh, well, that's because Bethesda doesn't make... Whenever Bethesda makes interiors, they're smaller than the outside or slightly larger because Bethesda's terrible. Um, it's not because of... Uh, actually, it's probably because of the modder, too. He pr actually he probably threw that in like he made the interior really big. And then afterwards was like, oh, shit, the, the house is actually really tiny. I should put a note about that. Dead men. Not just one man, but dead men. Oh, and he's got the little hood on him, because that's spooky. Um, oh, there we go. We are still drunk. Always gotta explore. Oh, man. Spooktacular. Put it away. I wanted that. Let me guess. Locked? Oh, okay. It's just... It just closed. Generate a health potion. A goblet. First, we'll check the basement, because basements are very naturally spooky. So, to get our spooks, we will come down here. Here's some iron armor, and a chest. Oh man, the chest disappeared when I tried to get it. That was scary, because of the sound of, I guess, whatever. Um, oh, hi, chest. Oh man. Chest, come back. Oh, hey, mannequins. Hi guys. Oh man. I wonder what that was. Does that happen every time? No, it doesn't happen. That's unfortunate. I thought it would happen every time you use the door. And these guys are just chilling. I wonder what happened. Can I hit him? No. Oh, we're stumbling. No, it's not working today. Oh, there's the chest. A key. And ebony boots. Let's sell those. Oh man! Ultra skeleton. There we go. Now he's a dead skeleton. Or something. He was clever, I know. Alright, so. And sound effect. Oh man, I wonder if that book's important. You push that off there? No. It's in the wardrobe. Some more charcoal. And a diary. I have found the diary of Hulf. But why is it here in this house in his diary? Hulf suspected that everything here is not real. It just exists. Can I just read the diary to get that? And it just exists in our minds. And a power which is called the Stone of Chaos controls our sense. So this is the reason why the workers had such a strange behavior and the mine was closed so suddenly. Half also shares our half. Yeah, half. I'll call him half. Half also shares his thoughts of how to destroy the Stone of Chaos. He says that you can fight it in your own head. But how? 
Finally, all this is not real. From Half, son of Halon. Hmm. Day 149. It is here, among us, in us. It controls our thoughts and our actions. It guides us like a puppeteer who hold all the reins. It let us see things that are not true. Makes us feel things that are not real. We are prisoners of its power. We are slaves for eternity. Beyond death. I've often wondered how one could destroy it. Come from his power freely. But I dropped that idea quickly. Because how can someone destroy something that is not real only exists in our minds? But if it is not real, how can it control us then? No matter how I racked my brain, I only came to one solution. It can only be destroyed there, where his power is at its greatest. In your own head. But I have a little hope. Eventually, one may come to save us all and he will destroy the Stone of Chaos. Forever. Okay, well that was nice. Oh, are we in a cutscene? No, I thought we were in a cutscene for a second. Take the diary. Um, wait a minute. This bed. Yes, I have an idea. If this was not real, what could happen when I'm sleeping in this surrealism or dream? I do not know, but I have only one option. I need to try it, even if I feel no fatigue here. If I do not, I'm just like everyone else, locked here forever. Well, that's terrible. What's in this wardrobe? Fine boots, fine hat, clothes. These I don't want the clothes. You know what, I'll take the clothes. Fuck it. The bed was owned and I slept in it anyway. Oh, uh, well, um... This is kind of... It's the Stone of Chaos! And a... Actually, um, now we've got two skeletons. That was an army. No, 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 Or it's getting locked up at a loading screen. It could be that, too. Oh, no. no oh, well, I guess that was it. It worked! The Stone of Chaos is destroyed and can no longer wield power on the people. The mine is buried. It will probably remain forever a mystery where it came from and why it appeared just at the mine. I guess it will. Well, I guess that's that. Um... Yeah. I have to say that um, on a spook meter of one to spooked, I'm definitely spooked. 